Well, we got to start with the 40. What's yes. your What's your plan? You got a number set? Uh, I have a, a number in my head, um, but uh, the interesting thing is I'm not doing it here at the Combine. Uh, two years ago when uh, COVID hit and there was no Combine, I started running it in Los Angeles, and we got um, members of the NFL Legends community to run with me, which raised funds in a way that I didn't know the my silly 40-yard dash could for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So we run it in Los Angeles now. So it's the benefit of raising more money, giving me more time to actually get prepped um, and not have to uh, go through the hoops of getting people credentialed to run here where actual prospects are running. So I'm doing it in LA. I just wanted to ask one thing about yeah. it. You, you know the benefit that it's had. Has there been one moment where you've seen something with the hospital and it's just hit you the most of the impact oh, that it's gosh, had? Yeah, well, I, I mean, meeting some of the kids who have recovered because St. Jude Children's Research Hospital has found a way to get them well. Um, and then occasionally getting photographs from the families years later and they're grown people who are happy on the planet. So yeah, the, every single time that happens and thankfully it's happening a lot. Um, football wise, we yeah. covered the bills. Yes. Is the perception of the bills changed after last season in the loss? No, good Lord. The perception of the Bills changed when Josh Allen got drafted and started taking names. I don't think their perceptions changed. They're, they're going to be a Super Bowl favorite next year as long as Josh Allen is up and active and the rest of the team that surrounds him is as is talented as it, as it has been. Uh, I, I think they need to get a, a, a running game going. I think they need to get somebody who is a bell cow. I think that would be amazing that Josh Allen feels that there's a, a way to get in the end zone from the 20-yard line in uh, that doesn't rely on his arms, his legs, his prowess of escape, you know, like uh, having somebody that can jam it in from 10 yards out that's not him. Um, and then, of course, throw it to him being Stephon Diggs. Like, that's the formula that I think they'll be able to affect. I think they're still the favorite to win the division and, and a favorite to, to battle for the, the crown in the conference. Do you think when there's a talent like Josh, teams can almost fall into that let Josh do it mode? Because I think they felt like they got into that a little too much last year. I, I think Josh just is so damn talented. Of course, you're going to fall into that if that's if that's what they're doing I just think he's so good and so generationally brilliant that you know he'll he'll try to do too much on occasion if that if that's a criticism uh, I I would trade places with him as a long life long jet fan in a heartbeat I would trade places for him and any a million percent uh, if the if I could Go back in time and from the NFL Network draft set, stop time, take the words Sam and Darnold off their card and write in Josh and Allen and put it back and then start time again. I would do that. I'd probably lose my job because my handwriting is very distinctive, but um, uh, I'm, I'm, I feel nothing but excitement for the Bills fan base. And the last thing I'm going to ask you, you mentioned your Jets affinity. Um, yes. The roster's pretty good. It is. Where are they going? I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't think uh, last year, standing here, I'd be still talking about whether Zach Wilson is the guy. Didn't think that, so I don't know. I guess they're meeting with Derek Carr right now. I might have to go crash that meeting. That would be great. Um, that'd be fun. Um, but um, I, I, I don't know is the answer to that question. And that's the other reason why, again, the Bills just chill. You're good. You know. You know, so many teams don't know. So many teams are here looking to see if they can find that guy. I mean, Will Levis, everybody's like, can he be the next Josh Allen? You have the actual genuine article, so it's all good.